good morning and hello everyone in this session we are going to learn about two activities that is one copy sheet another one delete range let me start with the scenario let assume this is the original copy provided by the customer so this is having this copy having student excel file having two sheets one is sheet one another one is sheet two now I don't want to make any changes in this sheet one and sheet two I want to create a copy of sheet three with the data of you know sheet one and sheet two I will copy as in the sheet three I will create a copy of the same sheet one and I will make the changes accordingly so that what will happen the original copy will be there and I don't want to disturb this copy and if I want to make any changes in the sheet 3 I will go ahead and I will do the manipulations okay so in that situation what is how I can copy the sheet of sheet 1 or sheet 2 to another sheet sheet 3 or any sheet name which is not existing or you know how can we go ahead and do that and after that this is one scenario so I want to delete some of the data okay some of the data by using the range let us assume I, wa I don't want to use this data okay so let us assume from sheet 2 or you know whenever I'm going to copy the sheet 3 I want to delete some data from particular range to particular range how can I go ahead and delete it so there I'm going to use delete range these two activities that we are going to learn today let me switch to earpod studio now what I'm going to do as a first step that I'm going to create a sequence by clicking on add sequence I'm going to give it the name as copy sheet as copy and delete range activities I'm just giving the name you know what are the work that we are going to do in this session what are the activities that we are going to do in this session I'm going to giving it as a name over here okay you can give your name whatever you require for the flow now let me go ahead let me create it now as the first step we are working on the excel right so we are going to the activities cope activity on my panel now let me select the uh, you know excel which we are going to open let me click on you know i have selected student marks and then i'm going to click on open now as the first step we have seen right now what what is the first scenario i want to copy the data which we are having in the sheet one I need to copy into the sheet three or any other sheet so what is the activity that we will use it that copy sheet let me search for copy sheet so that we will understand very easily where this activity is available now if you see we are going to working with Excel operations right now you will find this copy sheet under app integration under app Excel the sub one is the copy sheet let me drag and drop this copy sheet on to my do panel now we will see the properties of the copy sheet activity if you see over here the display name is the common property as we know that and you can see the destination this is very important now if you see you want to copy the sheet uh, copy this entire sheet one into the same sheet that is excel file student mouse dot xls file in the sheet 3 or you want to create a new with the name let assume i want to create another excel file like student mouse copy in that i want to keep it in the student one that is the destination okay you can give the file path over here so you can take the same file path or else whatever you want which is exists in the directory that you can go ahead and you can select the path now what I'm going to do for the time being I'm going to take the same student mouse.xls path which it is exist now if you see I'm having in the excel project let me copy this path and then what I'm going to do I'm going to create the path over here if you see slash I'm going to give it the you know some other name just simply I'm going to say marks.xlsx file it's the extension that I have given it okay this is the entire path that I have given okay and what will happen this uh, this mouse.xls file if not exists it will create a new 
file and then it will create a new file in that file that it will be creating the destination sheet name it will create the destination sheet name now we have to give in the double quotes okay and the sheet name which sheet name the destination sheet name also is required right i will give it as sheet one or else i will say original sheet it sounds good right original sheet now the input file now if you see what is the input file over here from the student mouse.excel file i want to take it the sheet name of sheet one and then that sheet name has to be uh, that entire copy has to be there in the original sheet now let me go to the project you can see this is the same project that what we have and you don't find this marks.xls file over here or excel file over here now what will happen it will create a new file and then the destination sheet name will be original sheet okay so the input is the sheet one which we are already opened you can see over here this is the sheet one i will give you both the examples over here how to copy in the same sheet also that simply we are going to change the path to marks.sheet she um, that student mass dot xls file only that is the difference okay now uh, for the time being what we are going to do we are going to create a new excel file with the name of marks and then in there that we are going to create original sheet with the name as i have shown you over here and then i am going to copy this entire data which is there in the excel uh, in the student mass dot excel in the sheet one that I'm going to copy this entire data by using copy sheet activity. Now I will take a message box once it has been completed that we want to know it is completed or not, right? So I'm going to complete, like I'm going to take the message box on typing copy completed. Okay, now uh, what I'm going to do, I, I'm going to run this bot. Now if you see, copy completed right now let me go ahead let me click on okay now let me go to my folder let me you can see over here we don't have previously marks excel file right microsoft excel now let me open this and you can see the entire data which we are having with the name of original sheet sheet and you can see there's no sheet one it's a default one which has been created and you can see original sheet name has been created over here in the particular path with the mars.excel file okay this is how we are going to use copy sheet activity now let me tell you one more over here if i want to put it in the same thing just change it over here the path we are going to change it that's it student marks right you can see the same name student marks student marks is the same property uh, same file path and the destination i'm going to create it as the original sheet name and you can see over here student marks i don't have any original sheet with the name of original sheet now let me go ahead let me run the bot now if you see copy completed successfully now click on ok now let me open this excel now you can see the original sheet the original sheet one having the same data with the original sheet okay this is how we are going to work with copy sheet now we are going to work with as a second part we are going to work with the delete range right so first of all we will see what are the properties of the delete range activity let me before that let me search for the delete range activity we will find under the same app integration excel you will find delete range let me drag and drop this delete range onto my panel okay now if you see over here in the sheet 3 i have copied it right after copying what i am going to do i am going to delete it so here already it is copying right it will give us an error for multiple times if you're going to copy the same thing in the same path so for the time being i'm going to delete this copy sheet activity now let me see the properties of delete range the delete range what is the range that we have to delete so in the particular sheet let assume i'm having the sheet original sheet name i'm going i want to delete from from c1 to the range is 
and we can say h11 c1 to h11 i'm going to mentioning the uh, range over here in double quotes c1 to h11 this is the range which i'm going to give the input and the sheet name i'm going to give it the name over here which i have mentioned i want to make the changes not in the sheet one i'm going to make the changes in original sheet okay now i will make the change it as sheet name as original sheet and now there are some more properties if you see the shift cells so for and suppose i am right now i'm taking this entire one right don't uh, i am just making the change over here from c2 to h8 okay i will make the change c2 to h8 okay now what i'm going to do let assume if i'm going to delete this data i want to move this remaining files like you know i want to uh, these rows has to shift up or we have to be in the same position that is where it is going to be shift cells if i'm going to do shift cells it will move it will select the option to shift up or shift left or shift row or shift or that is entire row or entire column okay that is the shift options that it is going to be talking about now if i want to, if i don't select this one what will happen then it the data once it has been deleted it won't uh, you know move the remaining cells which we are having it won't move it up that is where it is going to be talking about let me save it right now i'm going to i'm not going to select this option this checkbox i will show you in the same session how to work with the shift cell, shift cells let me run the bot now if you see over here the delete range has been completed okay if you see this entire things has been deleted but this remaining rows has not moved up because of we have not selected that option over here okay let me click on okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to select this option shift cells okay shift cells in nothing but i'm going to move the cells to up or whatever the direction that we require shift up shift left entire row entire column so that i will do by using the shift up as of now let me go ahead let me save it now let me run again the bot now if you see this entire data only the related cells has been moved up but not the entire row okay now let me click on okay i will show you that option also by giving the output now what i'm going to do i'm going to entire row i'm going to move up over here okay so by doing the same thing what are the options shift option that i'm going to select it i'm going to entire row okay now let me go ahead let me save the shift option to entire row now let me run the bot once again delete range completed okay now if you see the excel this entire data has moved to up in the sense the entire rows has been moved and the remaining if you see the previous data amir and all these things the data has been lost okay if you want to move this shift up shift left on the option we have we are having different different options over here based on the requirement you are going to select shift up shift left entire row entire column based on different different options you are going to delete thank you for watching your past tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a nice day